In this video, we're going to look at the equation of a straight line. So this question says, find the equation of a line that passes through the point three, five with a gradient of three. So what we do for a question like this, we need to use the equation of a line. And that is the following, y equals to m x plus c. Now m is always the gradient, which we know is three. So I'm going to I'm going to annotate that here as three. The x coordinate is three, so I'm going to call that x, and the y coordinate is five. So I'm just going to write that here. So x equals three, y equals five, and we know that m equals three. Having it written on the page going down, I think it's easy to read. So now what we're going to do in these problems, we always have to work out the y-intercept, that's c. So if you remember, in all of these questions of y equals mx plus c, we must always work out c. So now we can substitute y equals 5. Now m is 3. x is also 3 and we don't know what c is. So we're substituting the values into the equation. So now we get five equals to three times three, which is nine plus c. And then we're going to minus nine on both sides of the equation. And that gives me c equals to five minus nine, which is minus four. So now that I've got minus four, I can say therefore, the equation of the line is y equals the gradient, which is 3, and x, and the y-intercept is minus 4. So that follows the format of y equals m x plus c. So our final equation is y equals 3x minus 4. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video, and when you're done, I will go through my work solutions. Okay, welcome back. So the question says, find the equation of a line that passes through the point five and minus one with a gradient of one. So what we're going to do is, first of all, annotate this as x, annotate this as y, and the gradient here is one, so m equals one. So we can write m equals one, x equals five, and y equals to minus one. Then we're going to write down the equation of a straight line, which is y equals mx plus c. y equals to minus 1. m equals to 1. The value of x we're going to substitute in is 5. And we need to always work out c. So we get minus 1. 1 times 5 is 5 plus c. Now to get rid of the positive 5, we minus 5 on both sides. And so we get c equals to minus 6. So therefore, in the form of y equals mx plus c, we can say y equals to 1x, because m is 1, so 1x, and our corresponding value for c is minus 6. So our final equation is y equals 1x minus 6.